Hey, just, 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 just. All right, it looks like we're live. Volume's good. All right, uh, I have a cool arena table here. We got BK, Polyrur, Polly, and Doe Academy. Doe is obviously very good. Um, yeah. Um, we're first seat. Uh, Doe's right after us. That's probably slightly in favor of us, so that's f always good. Uh, there is a Lantern House, but I'm not a huge fan of committing to Lantern House right off the bat. Aqua is, this is a hard pick. Like, there's nothing massively obvious here. Um, you could take Seasonal Worker and hope to hit some combos. Um, could take Bricklayer and hope to hit some combos. Could just take Brushwood. I've been warming up to Brushwood is better than I used to give it credit for just because Reed is like people want to, there's so many resources you want to build a lot of rooms and Reed is often the problem. Um, Winter Caretaker is good. I don't have a lot of time here. Um, I like Feed Pellets quite a bit. I think I'm taking feed pellets, and I think I'm just taking winter caretakers, like the most flexibly good card here. But gosh, I really don't know. I really don't know. Um, I would expect lantern house to get taken, and then on the wheel, I'm hoping for like strawberry patch or shifting cultivation. I get back seasonal brushwood, bricklayer, or clay firer, which is okay. Also, no, no, did make. I was about to say we were about not ready to go. I'm having weird th image issues with BJ at the moment, which is a little frightening. Um, with images taking a long time to load. Um, but patron into woodcart is mildly tempting here. Porter is always reasonably good. There's a lot of clay in the game. Pattern maker can be good, although I already took crop support. Um, I like Beanfield and Granary well enough. There, are the images are coming in. It's weird that it's being like that for me. I think I'm taking Patron Woodcart. Patron enables you to spam Ox early. The Ox I've seen are okay. They're not great, great, but there's also a chance I still get something crazy after that too. A little sad I didn't take the brushwood collector at this point though. Woodcart brushwood collector is quite nice. But I think I'm just doing this. I don't know. Basically I don't feel great about this, but I'm not really sure what else I should do, so. So whatever, we're running this. Uh, okay. Uh, we see a tutor. Tutors. Pr oh, and we do see the stork's nest. Um. Well, patron tutor stork's nest is pretty tempting, especially with a wood cart. Right, woodcart, patron, storks. I mean, we got to hope that we get a few more cards that actually help building rooms. Most of we got to hope for the brushwood back. Brushwood back would be something. But I doubt we actually get brushwood back. So it turns out I should have first picked brushwood. But eh, winter k is pretty good too, but. Patron Tutor automatically makes playing a bunch of Ox pretty good. And then Storks and Woodcart are some good payoffs. So we'll see. Uh, the last Ox I'm going to get back out of this pack is probably going to be underwhelming. I would expect to see something like Green Grocer Oven Firing Boy back, which is like nothing. Frame Builder would be welcome. Seed Trader is 
not good, but maybe it's okay. But realistically, I'm probably not. Well, the problem with Patreon tutors, I kind of want to play everything, but we'll see what else we get. We'll see what else comes. There's a lot. There's a lot that could still happen here. Uh, Chimney Sweep is like the best card. Wow, there's still a Milk Jug. I'm a huge Milk Jug fan. Uh, hard Porcelain, though, can sometimes be really good, too. There was quite a bit of Clay Injection options with Clay Deliveryman, Clay Carrier, Porter. There's also Puppeteer, which speeds up your Ock plays a little bit, but I don't think it's correct. I think Chimney Sweep is too good here. It's bonus points, and it's some stone. Also, Constable is, like... Constable is also defensible here because it gives me wood while playing Ox, which is actually very good for both wood cart and my like push out a quick room plan. Yeah, it, that's what I was just saying. I think it probably does have to be take Constable myself, though. I like Chimney Sweep a lot, but Constable does a lot of good things for me here. I think I have to take Constable. Um, hard Porcelain like could turn out correct if I somehow don't get much stone, but Milk Jug is a huge... I'm a huge fan of Milk Jug. If I'm going to go for a Stork's Nest game plan, you need a lot of food. And Milk Jug is just like a lot of food. So I I take it here. We predictably don't get Brushwood back, which was pretty likely. Uh, we get back pretty much exactly what I figured I was getting back. Constable makes it more likely people take one cow. That's true. Uh, I mean, I'll just take one cow a bunch myself, probably, but yes. Uh, okay, so Millwright at least gives me a grain. Millwright also technically gives me some ability to turn my grain into reed. Uh, and my biggest issue this game is certainly I could get reed tight. I mean, hopefully somebody else plays brushwood, which helps ease the reed pressure for myself anyhow. But storks and wanting to build three rooms and renovate means that I need a lot of reed. And so using millwright for some of it is gross, but also like a card that just gives me another grain. Not the worst thing. I mean, clay fire is also potentially okay, but meh, I mean... I think it's just take mill right and then i have a bunch of miners that are pretty playable and with storks you don't actually like you want to start player stuff but i, I like having some victory point ceiling in my hand i i'm a big strawberry fetch patch fan anyhow and with winter caretaker it should be pretty possible uh clay deliveryman is fantastic here uh clay deliveryman's fantastic because i want to play ox that do things while i'm doing patron tutor and clay deliveryman for sure does some things uh, I don't have any clay support myself. I mean, pattern... Oh, but pattern maker with wood cart. Oh, wait a sec, though. Yeah, well, yeah, I just got there. I just got there. I mean, I like clay deliverment a lot, too, but pattern with wood cart and the millwright stuff I'm talking about, actually, like, it's like pattern maker could really be turned to wood into a food read point for me or something, and that's like... That's actually quite good. Uh, I, I think there's enough clay in the game. I don't really need... Well, I want clay probably for a hearth, a milk jug, and reno. Like, that's quite a bit of clay. But there's a clay delivery room. There's a clay carrier somebody took. There's a porter somebody took. So, like, there's going to be some clay injection. And maybe I don't need a hearth. Oh, maybe I feed via an oven if I get enough stuff. I don't know. Uh, the follow-up is... If I'm going for a five-room house, which I think I am, am I going to just play a two-field game? Like, it's defensible that I play a two-field game here and take Manger, because I'll have enough wood defense 15. I could go for stables. Like, I could try to just get a lot of points via wood carding and not have to fight plow as much. Although, there is also hand plow. There is a shifting cultivation. Beanfield is just a food for a point, which is maybe better than Manger spending two wood for three points and needing to have a certain farmyard arrangement. 
Also, Beanfield makes my Strawberry Patch just that little bit easier to hit. I mean, Hand Plow is also defensible. It's just I don't know if it comes down in time. I don't think I was really wrong with any of the miners there. I think any of them would have been good enough. But uh, okay, so we do get we do see Oven Firing Boy and Seed Trader as our options. So I mean, Oven Firing Boy. If I actually get the grain in the ground, that is a really good food source. But I don't really see how that's gonna happen. I think I have too many other things to worry about early. So I, I think I just take Seed Trader. Although. What am I ever using Seed Trader? I have grain from Millwright Pattern and Winter Caretaker, and I have veggies from Winter Caretaker, so what am I ever buying these? I don't know the answer to that. Also, am I ever playing Milking Place this game? Oh, I guess, am I ever playing Mantelpiece? And I think the answer is no. I don't plan to do a fast reno. It's unlikely I play Milking Place, but is it? I don't really need to have animals in my house, necessarily. And I actually kind of have extra grain, probably. I think I, I'm just going to take Seed Trader. Just having the option to buy even more grain or veg is probably more useful to me than Oven Firing Boy is. But who knows for sure. Um. Okay. So this is Ock. I think it's Patron, then Tutor. I could greed one more point, but that's trading food and i think that's crazy right early food has to be worth a point like two food has to be worth a point early right i think the answer is yes i i, I think this is patron into tutor into constable into woodcart into pattern maker into millwright something like that you like patron first okay uh, the follow-up is, am I taking two wood or am I taking two clay because sheep flipped and I have no complaints about having more food? It's probably pretty tempting to take two clay here. I just can't be sad about having a fireplace this game either if sheep are actually early. Now, I might not get the fireplace, but I don't really need to take two wood here because I plan to play constable into woodcart pretty quickly hopefully so two wood actions are not really that good for me um because i'll be boosting my ability to take wood pretty quickly This seems a good enough start at the moment. Nothing nothing obviously wrong here. Um, if I get to just stay start player, I probably just snap to read. Uh, I'm not staying start, though. I really need to play Ox, but I also like really need read. So Brushwood would have been sweet here. I agree. It turns out first picking Brushwood actually was like the answer, but it's so hard to know off the bat that first picking Brushwood was correct. You think I have to just awk every time it's offered? Oh, I could also get... Re oh, but I, I, I actually can't get that read screwed because I can still mill right out of this if I have to. Wow, an early clay carrier. Um, That's fine. I'm happy. Uh, I think I'll, I think I agree with you, though. I think I should awk a bunch. There is a brushwood in the game, but getting this wood cart going early and stuff has to be good, so whatever. Whatever, we do this. In Dream World, we get Reed back here, actually, because the Brushwood Collector is so locked into doing Brushwood things. Um, But we'll see. But if we get two Reed back, that's the dream. Uh, but we don't. Okay. Um, This probably is just two wood, then. I could take two more clay just to lock up Fireplace and be able to build a hearth. I don't know if that's defensible. Oh, it's not defensible, too. There's a clay carrier. Clay carrier, duh. Clay carrier has fireplace tempo on me now. Uh, that's annoying. Uh, but that's also why I probably shouldn't have taken two clay. But whatever, I did it. Um, I could just get a field down. Does that make enough sense? Or I just take two wood? Huh. 
Ha. <laughs> You would grain. That's that's spicy, but I, I see I, I understand the argument for it. I also understand the argument for day labor. I'm not entirely opposed to that. I just broadly agree that I don't really want to take two wood. I, I just I'm going to have a wood cart soon and I just don't need two wood actions, I don't think. I think two woods a distraction, but yeah, maybe it is just day labor increase the food in the game. I'm not getting the fireplace anymore, so sure. I'm open to this. Dill's gonna start. That's unfortunate. Please don't be a carpenter's parlor or something. I don't know what it's starting for, but I don't approve. I don't really think I care about going last, but never prefer it. But if I can get Constable to start player woodcart next round, I mean, that's all good. Letting wood build up frees up ox spaces. That's actually, yeah, that's a good point. Oh, it is a carpenter's parlor. Wow, that's gross. That's gross. Uh, okay, well, I know where the brushwood collector is. The brushwood collector died right in Doe's hand. Wow, Teal takes two clay now because they if fireplace flips, they get it. So <laughs> I'm never getting, wow, and it's late major. So somebody else, all, I probably don't get to play wood cart here because somebody's going to start player for the damn fireplace is my guess. But I do get, I very likely get Ock at least. Um, but yeah, this is, this is not ideal. Doe is going to have a million rooms very quickly because of brushwood. So, not great. Not great. Oof, the assistant tiller, um, it's very likely the seasonal worker made its way to them. Reedstone gets taken. That's okay with me. I'm slamming constable here. Would happily start player woodcart if I'm allowed to. I don't expect to be able to, so I probably just three wood. Doe probably takes three wood or food here. Doe taking three foods fairly justifiable for them because they want they want to play brushwood. If it's an early growth game, uh, my stork stuff is obviously a little less good, and it's really kind of terrifying that Doe is going to have a carpenter's parlor in that situation. Um, Doe is just going to re-up start. Re-upping start, I think, is a really bad move here. Like, you, wow, with a fishing net. I mean, that's cute, but I think it's a bad idea because you have so many, like, you, you got to play miners to fight the growth queue. And so start playing a bunch early can really suck if you have to fight the growth queue a bunch. Now, maybe there won't be much of a growth queue, but anyhow, I'm getting heavily punished here, though, because I do have to go last. All the wood stacks got taken. Nobody's respecting food, although there's not that much food pressure, but everything kind of sucks now. None of these actions are really good for me. This is where maybe I take a grain. Taking one grain is like taking one reed, sort of, though, which is pretty goddamn underwhelming, but otherwise I'm plowing, and plowing doesn't really seem to make much sense here. So, 
think it is take one grain, but I don't feel good about this. Don't feel good about that. I'm expecting Doe to just open with brushwood here. And I, oh, nope, gonna open with food. Okay, that's defensible, but I think I would have rather just taken three food than played fishing net in Doe's position, but whatever. I would expect fireplace to get built by one of my two opponents, but uh, we'll see. Doe no longer has first room. Teal actually could build here, but has small scales, so I have no idea what to expect. Oh, wait, red can build too. Wow, okay, never mind. Um, I could just build fireplace here, which is like crazy. I don't even know. That's not really what I wanted to do. I don't know if it's too much of a distraction. It's a lot of freaking food though. I'm not sure it was no good reason to be fair water shipped down, but I don't, I don't, I'm not convinced I like those opening much here. Um, I mean, they're going to get brushwood down in a sec, so like, whatever. God, I'm being offered fireplace, and I'm very tempted to just take it. Screw it. I'm just taking it. I'm going to, I'm going to claim that I can food, well, food pressuring is not really going to work in revised, but I'm going to claim this is still fine. Two reed was also like super defensible there. Like there's, I mean, the problem of building fireplace is like it pushes everything I'm doing back and it's possible I'm supposed to just absolutely be rushing for rooms with a single-minded focus, but Doe is saying they wanted to try something that's probably wrong. Okay. You think I can SP into three reed? I agree. I've been debating that. Wow. Doe is taking two reed. What? Uh... What? Okay, also the whole SP theory is dead now too. Like, what is this game? Like, we have to play a Skullry here? I mean, Skullry is actually kind of good, but like, this game is weird. Like, the resources are going to be nutty next round. Oh, I... Wow, it's a sheep sweep? A sheep sweep? You gotta be effing kidding me. You gotta be you gotta be joking me. What is this game? Okay, they don't actually sheep sweep. I think this is just play an Ock. It's probably just play Millwright. I'm going to leave big wood piles. Next round, I'm going to have to take the sheep. Two read, let's do a triple build. Only if they actually have brushwood, and they could have just played free brushwood. Two read is a nonsense move from Doe. I don't, I don't, like, if Doe has brushwood, it's an absolute nonsense move. It, it's, it's utterly ridiculous. Like. You would pattern maker first. Oh, because red could renovate. Yeah, red could renovate. Except Reto doesn't flip, so there's that. Which Growth also doesn't flip, so that's very welcome. Uh, I am a big fan. I do need to take the sheep this round. Have to take the sheep this round. Um, I'm going to continue to assume nobody's going to just mildly sweep them, but if BK wants to sweep them and make nobody have food, that's his prerogative. Uh, if I somehow get offered six wood, I'll just take it. If I don't get six wood, I... I don't even know what I'm doing. I do get six wood though. So I guess I just take six wood. Hotter ceramics with clay carrier definitely makes sense. So BK wants to take an oven, which does mean there's a lot of food in the game. 
Yeah, I mean, I, oh, I don't know. I'm thinking so long. Six wood's great. Doe takes four wood. You thought this was the case, but playing Mining Hammer first is nonsense. Yes, completely agreed. Not having Potter Shemmings down already is crazy, but whatever. Also, Doe not having Brushwood down yet and being this far behind the room queue. Like, I'm just going to build next round, right? And then Doe is not going to... Like, I will just turn my two grade into two read, and I will build. Like, is that great? Meh. It's... But, like, I think I just awk on the wheel here. It is seasonal worker for teal, which was kind of expected, so that's a bit gross. Uh, I have to take the sheep. What am I talking about? I, well, I don't have to take the sheep, but I, I should take the sheep. I can't awk. Bricklayer. That's just greedy, but okay. Uh, we do have other grain sources, so we can just build. I agree. The real question is how much do I greed the sheep stack? Because I probably should just take the sheep here and ease the pressure on myself. I wish I had first picked the brushwood. Yes, we've said this multiple times. If I had first picked brushwood, life would be great. But I didn't, and that's fine. Uh, I'm just taking the sheep stack. I eventually need to do it. And waiting longer seems just greedy and unnecessary. See, I don't think I actually will have to take it first pick next round. I honestly don't think I'd have to. I bet you I could take, I bet you I could wheel it. But I just think greeting it longer is, yeah, probably a mistake. So growth does flip, slight bummer. Waiting for Reno longer would have been more hilarious and even better, but I think this is where I just build, or do I build? So, interesting question. Do I build for an aid for red? Um, I'm not sure I would play for an aid when I have Potter Ceramics, but whatever. Uh, okay. I could just take two read here, because if we continue to bet that Doe has Brushwood, Doe probably doesn't build. But regardless, who's building in front of me next round? I don't need to build this round. Like, I could build next round. It's not a big deal if I build next round. And two read gives me a read I need for Stork's Nest. So I take two read, play an Ock. Next round is build plus start plus grow. Which still means I don't have wood card out. That part's gross. But I guess we get to wood carding soon. Uh, how can we start build? Doe just builds. Like, Doe can just build. I don't... How would I ever start build here? Now, I don't know if Doe actually builds, because Doe might awk. Doe's gonna try to start build. Um, wow, Doe has a lantern house that they haven't played, so that's why they've been holding off on Brushwood. Um, okay, yeah, Doe says YOLO, but this is, this is insanity. This is why Doe was thinking so hard when they played Carpenter's Parlor in, like, early on. Um, but this is also why Brushwood hasn't come down. But this is, this is absolute nonsense. I'm very tempted to build here. Um... Actually, why am I not building here? Building here just makes Doe's life slightly harder, right? Or not really. Doe's gonna... If I build here, Doe is going to... play Brushwood, finally. I can still get the Stork's Nest up next round if I build here too, right? I don't, I don't understand. Like... If I build here, next round can still just be Ock into start player. Like my in order to get Storks going, I need Ock, build, and play Storks. And it doesn't really matter what order I do those in. Now I could get Ock blocked.
Oh, wait, no shit. Gray is right. I can build two rooms. Oh, wait, fascinating. If I let Doe build, I can play Litter Caretaker into double build into Storks. I think slowing down Doe is probably okay, though. And I think saving wood for woodcart also buys me some efficiency. But I could be wrong. Do you think I get major blocked? That also could happen. I'm not even sure I should actually try growing with storks, to be fair. I agree that pattern is better than winter caretaker, correct? Because... Well, actually, red might renovate early on me next round. Uh, I need to pay five wood a grain and a reed, yeah. Definitely not stables. Doe's going to play brushwood. It's possible... You like this line? I think so too. I I'm debating if I'm supposed to just start player woodcart. Ock grow with stork's nest. I'm pretty tempted by that. It slows down does grow. It gets out a miner I want to get out anyhow. And it means I don't get blocked on storks anyhow. You think Doe's going to start build again? Well, Doe's just building, so... I technically could build block Doe. Oh, wait, they are going to think about that. See, I, I, I could build block Doe. Yeah, they're going to go for it, though. Uh, that is a little unfortunate, because I don't actually want to build block them. Although, do I not want to build block them? I guess I run out of read then, right? Yeah, I run out of read if I try to build block. Oof, there's a bookshelf. That's that's a shame. I would have loved a bookshelf. Oh well. Um yeah, so I mean I think this has to just be play pattern maker and hope I can major minor storks. We're gonna turbocharge the growth of the game. But Not getting this wood card out is pretty sad. Not getting the wood card out sad. Also, Doe is going to get to grow a lot. A lot. A lot of growth from Doe coming. Which, not a, I don't love that. I'm hoping BK wants to renovate to the clay oven, but BK could just build the clay oven here, and then I probably just take six clay. Oh, but I do get away with... Okay, I do at least get away with storks in here, so that part's good. I definitely need to get woodcart going. I need woodcart pretty bad. Three sheep next round is tempting. Eight clay next round is also tempting. 
I do plan to pattern make. Pattern making has to be good. This is why we played pattern maker. PK gets the oven going. Yeah, what a weird game. What a weird game. What a weird, weird game. Ultimately, Doe's plan has kind of worked out. Like, I mean, they're growing last effectively, but... Uh, yeah, Doe, um, general, oh yeah, Doe gets to take eight clay here, that's right, Doe actually had the first action, that, that part's gross. Um, yeah, Doe, I don't know why you're in my viewer list, but that's, uh, it's not good. It's not good, buddy. Uh, this round is start player woodcart. Or not. <laughs> God damn. God damn. It's impossible to play cards in this game. My opponents want to play a bunch. Uh, two read. Two read has to still be good. I need read. And then hopefully I can major minor woodcart, take wood, or just take the sheep. But I need two read. I do need to get wood cart down badly. I gotta start getting wood cart down and attacking the wood. Taking three sheep has to be good though. Yeah, I probably take three sheep. You wouldn't block Red's builds. That's really good for Doe. Oh, you would have. I see. You would have let the two read go to red so they could build a room. Yeah, that's reasonable. Although, I would argue red should just take two read, but... But, yeah. I'm certainly hooking dough up some here. Although, I'm also just setting up my own grows, too. Like, I don't know. Is that that bad? I major minor woodcart. I take a bunch of sheep. I open next round with a bunch of wood. And then I just build a room and grow again. Like, I should be able to just wood cart into four wood or three wood, plus build. That feels good enough. The one thing I can hope to do for Doe's game is just wood bully. This lets me double build. How am I double building? I'm not getting enough wood for double build. Yeah, Ace of Spade, I can't play them. <laughs> it's been very frustrating. I can't start player. Doe start player four times. Um BK is start player three times. Like it's been it's been so hard to play minors because people have been crazy about starting. Well, I think they're crazy. I mean, I did to be fair, I passed a lantern house, so I mean Doe has been spamming out their cards, but
Uh, flail Potter Ceramics is definitely a good time, although with 4 and 8, that's a little terrifying. But BK's getting farming done, which is always good f stuff. Uh, all right, we take our wood. Oh, I get what Gray's saying about double building. If I get two wood on the wheel here, I can double build by consuming my grain. That would be pretty sweet if I'm allowed to do that. That'd be nice. Doe has to take food here. That makes sense. It's handy that there's so much bottom feeding in the game uh, for Doe. Like, everybody else is fed, but Doe needs the food more than others. Uh, I mean, Doe getting to grow here is good, too. Uh, yeah, there's going to be so many actions in this game, but as long as I get the forward, I can double build. Yeah, I just I see that now. A uh, harpooner from Teal is awful if they actually intend to use it. Hopefully they don't. They have so much food. I think it's crazy to actually do it, but I guess it gives them a read. Yeah, they they can. I mean, this is a pretty good action, but yeah, I mean, BK probably kind of can spam plow though. Like Teal's never taking plow, and I don't know. I'm not that interested in plowing at the moment either. Like, I'm going to get a bunch of Plow So late, probably, because Teal won't really need Plow So, and BK can't take Plow So, so that part's awesome. Wow, BK has a Grocer with Potter Ceramics. That's gross. Yeah, it's gross. Don't like to see that. Love to see me getting more wood. Big fan of that. Give me all the wood. Give me the double build. Wood collector from Doe. That's their first pick. I did not see a wood collector. So that uh, unfortunately slightly eases the wood pressure in the game, which I'm not too keen about. But But I also have a million actions, so like I can hardly complain here. The well gets taken, which is fine. Um, I do have to keep worrying about food, but I might just get three boars next. Well, no, I should get three boars, right? BK should take boars. My food's my food is going to become a slight issue right after this, as is Doe's. So we all get to start worrying about that. Although Milk Jug is a huge help for me. I, I just need to get Clay and play Milk Jug. Milk Jug significantly eases my food problems. I mean, it eases everybody's food problems. There's so much food in the game with the Potter Ceramics Grocer and all that. But BK is doing a so bake here. So he didn't actually take the boars. Um, but, I mean, I'm just double building here. I think double building... Yeah, d double building has to be correct. I could miss a reno. No, I can't because Doe is growing. Yeah, okay. I, I, I don't want to miss Renos with Pattern Maker. I mean, part of my victory point ceiling in this game is Tutor and Pattern Maker, and hopefully Constable. I'm being a little slow on Constable things, but I should get there. Uh, I'm going to build here, and then I still could fence eight and just plow two. Or does that make... Well, wait, no, that makes it... I, I should do it like this, I think. I don't I don't know if it matters, really, but we'll do it like this. Um, I'm definitely, next round, I think I'm opening clay, then wood. Doe gets hand plowed down just in time. Doe's lantern house looks pretty good. I mean, they need to awk a bunch, but awking a bunch is a good plan, because what else are you doing in this game? Like, this board, I, I'm super injecting growth into this game, because of all the stork's nest growing I'm doing. So, there's a ton of actions. The board is going to get really dry, so that is a big positive for my wood cart. I'm gonna be able to hit wood cart. Um like I, I could I could probably just hit like I'm gonna be hitting the two wood spot for sure, and I might even be hitting the one wood spot pretty often. Um Which should make it a little hard for Doe to get enough wood to fence early. And fencing early is the best way to actually get constable. So there's that. But Reed Pond for Teal, a little extra read in the game is fine. I mean, I've added read to the game through Millwright stuff, but. 
yeah, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not too sad about anything here, right? I, I, it's a little bad that I've given Doe so much growth. Any chance of a rammed clay? Uh, I don't know. Doe can't have rammed clay. Doe first pick Carpenter's Parlor. So Doe is just like Reno Hearth, yeah. Which Doe could run a hearth pretty quickly here, and I don't want to miss pattern maker opportunities, but I think I have to open clay. I could block Doe's grow. I've been debating that, but the board is so good. It's so, and I can't, the only miner I really want to play is Milk Jug, right? So I think I just want to take clay. Now, if Doe lets me play Milk Jug, that I'm in, but these other cards I don't like super need at the moment. I mean, I don't know, I guess, right? I've been debating it. Like, how good is blocking Doe's Grow here, though? I, I just don't know if it actually does enough for me, especially because I'm slightly paranoid about getting enough clay in this game. Like, if both clay stacks get taken this round before I take an action, it's like terrible Reno tempo for me. Oh, but fascinating. If I block Grow here, who actually... When does Doe grow next? No, I mean, Doe definitely greets Reno, I agree. But Doe does have pressure on Grow. I mean, Doe is going to grow, though, right? Like, I think I let it happen, though. God, there's also three pigs here, but, like gonna do this i don't know this could be misreading the actual pressures of the game but i'm gonna do this i'm just gonna do that it could be very wrong but doe grows not at least so i don't know what their last minor is but they couldn't play it there three stone is also tempting god i have so many actions i actually want to take so many actions I actually want to take. I do want to take two wood pretty badly. I want to take three stone. I want to take the pigs. I do want to take the extra clay because I eventually just want to reno plus play stuff. The pigs do get taken though. That's very understandable. I think I got to take three stone then, right? Three stone eventually, whatever. You think blocking grow is not that good? I think I'm with you because I don't have like, I mean, I could have played bean field at least, but Taking three stone, though, for sure. I think eventually I pretend that I want to join Re, although how many wood actions am I going to get this game? I don't know. Clay Firer for Doe. Okay. Okay. Uh, Doe can run out to a pottery? I mean, how is Doe feeding? You like pressuring the growth queue? I Ooh, the two wood from Teal is actually really annoying. Oh, I wanted to take wood. I just never imagined Teal would take two wood. That feels so weak. I mean, what else are they supposed to do, I guess? They're supposed to day labor is what I wanted them to do. Oh, okay. Them taking two wood's pretty annoying. Uh, that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. I'm going to miss a I'm going to miss a pattern now. Definitely I'm missing a pattern now, but Oh well. I miss a pattern. The food looks awful for Doe. How is Doe feeding? Doe is going to stone oven here? Doe might stone oven here on Reno, but that's very temporary. Whatever. I'm going to just take four clay. Teal played this perfectly. I mean, the two woods really annoying. I'm not convinced I'd call it perfectly, though. I, I'm very dubious about two wood for Teal, but you can call it perfect. I, to be fair, the wood pressure is about to be nutty. There's way too many actions, and I will spam wood. Like, I will absolutely spam two wood and one wood actions, because there's just going to be too many actions on the board. Gosh, this does look like it's going to be Reno Stone Oven. Missing this pattern makes me... I'm, I'm sad about missing this pattern, but I, I'll live. But it is unfortunate. Unfortunate... Uh, I really want... Yeah, I did not expect two wood to get taken. Did I have to take wood before three stone? God, I, I like never get three stone otherwise, though. 
Maybe I just don't need the stone, but it feels like I should go for some improvement eventually. I don't know. Whatever. Missing that pattern is probably not the end of my game, but it was sad. Uh, I think this is where I finally get my milk jug out. I definitely want milk jug down. And, like, I could read stone food, but I don't have a huge need to do that. So I think I get milk jug out. I agree missing one pattern really isn't the end of the world. It's it's what I wanted, but, like, it's fine. Um, I think I opened three sheep. BK could easily take the sheep, and my food becomes very troubling. If I don't three sheep. I mean, I'd love to take three wood to open next round, but like, I don't think that's correct. I think next round is three sheep, wood, wood, reedstone food, reno joinery, something like that. Hope somebody else takes cow. I don't know. Is sheep grabs a food engine? Uh, it's it's decent. Every it, like as long as I'm taking six food actions, it's decent. And I agree that jug food is going to help a lot, but... Well, Ace of Spade, I have issues. Like, I still have issues food-wise, because I'm paying to grow here with storks. So, I need ten food, and I, like, even with the milk jug. If I don't take three sheep, I think it gets too ugly for me. But I agree, there's so many actions this game. There's so many actions because of what I'm doing. Like, Doe is going to take three wood, which makes sense. I mean, Doe is going to have a tough time getting wood after me now too, but... I'm going to have enough time taking it as much wood as I want. This wood cart definitely came out much later than I wanted it to. Um, but it's okay. I also should consider plowing soon. Like, I gotta eventually start plowing, but maybe I am only going for, like, two plows and fencing big. I probably want to hit constable this game, right? It's just not clear when I'm going to be able to. Also, I'm a little sad I don't have a passing miner. Having a passing miner to shaft into Doe's hand right at the end of the game and kill constable for them because of Lantern House would have been... That would have been fun, but... Teal is going to build. Uh, I think teal building is a very bad idea. They will, like, never fence. And they're sitting after... T like, they literally have uncontested access to growth without. Red cannot grow without room. And both of the people in front of them are at five family members. So this room is a huge strategic error. You should never build in this situation. Like... You're probably not even growing this round, so you're not you're not growing until round twelve into this room. And you could you're just gonna get growth without whenever it flips. So like you're not really like this room is a huge waste of resources. But you know, I'm okay. Hard porcelain is in the game, so now there's even more stone in the game. I am taking two wood here. Well, really four wood, but obviously you gotta take all the wood. Take the wood. Uh, let's so see. Yeah, I think I'm taking Reedstone food. I'm renovating to a joinery, uh, and then I'm just gonna take the one wood action space. Building is game losing. Oh, building, building. Even if they have a mason, it's bonkers. Like they don't have enough clay to renovate or enough stone to renovate. Like it's it's a huge blunder. Wow, and starting is also dubious. Um, I mean, I guess if they have a miner, it's fine. I'm I'm also happy for Doe to be last. So like whatever, but. Which, by the way, Doe, why do you still show as a user viewing this Doe Academy? Hello, Doe. Why does it look like you're viewing the game, Doe? Ooh, wait a sec, wait a sec. Do I actually want to run or do I want to play Winter Caretaker this harvest? I mean, I kind of want to play Winter Caretaker this harvest. I guess I still can, probably. I can Reno and Winter Caretaker and just not take this wood action? Ugh. I don't know. 
Uh, we'll think about that. Um, Dawes, I agree that, like, it... I don't think Doe is actually actively watching, for what it's worth. Like, I don't think Doe is the type of person that's actively watching. Also, I agree with that. That's true, Gray. I agree that it's probably just minimized in another window, but it's still very weird. It's very weird that Doe's in the list at all. Um... I probably am going to reach out to them. I, I, I doubt they're actually doing anything wrong. It's just... I'd really appreciate in the future that they just have the mind to close the window, even if they were already logged into Twitch or whatever. Like, I don't... It's just it's just awkward, right? Like, when you peer over and you see that. Like, Anyhow, um, who's taking my cow this round, by the way? It's starting to look like I have to take my own cow. How did Polder get 25 food? They harpooned a bunch. Polder has been harpooning for some reason. The Dubby Wubby, we've been through this a lot. And it's tricky, but... Anyhow. Um... I run out to... Do I need to run... Maybe I just don't renovate this round. I've been talking about renovating, but maybe I just don't renovate. Maybe renovating's overrated. Although I could lose the joinery. Although, who's... If Teal builds the joinery, it's utter nonsense. Although, Teal played a canoe. Oh, my God. I mean, Teal's taking the BMW, but this this is crazy. Teal play, Teal decided they wanted no wood. I, I really want to smack the wood, and I want this cow to get taken, but... Doe is adding cows to the game via cattle feeder, and BK didn't have time to take cow. Yeah, I guess I take cow. With feed pellets, I have a sheep hidden in my hand, so, like, I can't not have cow taken. And then I probably... I probably want to awk here and get winter caretaker out. I guess I could seed trader, but... Surely I don't joinery. You think it's just better not to joinery and just double reno? I guess I have enough other miners. Maybe I'm with you. Maybe I need defense too bad anyhow. I could believe that argument. In which case, maybe I am supposed to take wood and not play. No, but I need to be able to possibly sow this. I'm playing winter caretaker, but this could be wrong. Like, I also need to take a lot of... I need to take a lot of wood. And I need defense soon in order to get constable. Pottery has to be better. That's also defensible because I'm I'm consuming extra wood with pattern maker still, hopefully. Although there's not that many renos that are happening, but eh, whatever. This this has to be okay. Uh, I do need to keep taking wood actions with a lot of priority. I need to take wood. I need to be able to fence. I do have to start plowing also. Like, I have a lot to do. It might it might not all come together. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, anyhow, it's Wubby. Wubby. Looping way back. Um, having chat is probably some sort of advantage, but I'm really, I'm really uncertain how much advantage chat is. Like, yes, occasionally chat gives you ideation, but it also really distracts you from a lot of what you're doing a lot of the time, in my opinion. Um... Wow, Doe is taking and feeding the uh feeding the puppeteer. Uh feeding the puppeteer is a little bold, but I guess Polder doesn't need the food. It's just they get free ox down, but I guess their ox are probably bad at this point. Anyhow. Um Broadly Broadly, I don't actually think streaming helps me play better i don't think it helps a lot of people play better to be honest i think it's hard to keep up with chat and manage it i think chat certainly gives you ideas sometimes but you still have to decide what the correct path is 
And I think you miss as many lines and things that are going on because of chat as you do get ideas because of them. Like, I think it largely equals out how much they're helping you and how much they're hurting you. Um, I also just think generally having streams is good for the community. And there's a world of difference between getting a little bit of help from chatting so with somebody and stream sniping. Um, like, to be fair, I know occasionally some people chat, like, people could be having private chats right now with, you know, and getting some advice and tips also. Like, that happens in games. Should that be not allowed? I don't know. Like, it gets a little scummy if people are telling you exactly what to do. But I think it's totally okay to get some, like, talking with a friend, uh, you know, having a mentor that's trying to help teach you some stuff and points out some stuff. So, like, I don't know. It's tricky, but... Anyhow, uh, I am taking wood. I would like to take wood. Well, God, do I take wood first action or am I plowing first action? See, this is the problem. I need plows and I need wood. Uh, this is a table. Um, yeah, it's been interesting. Um, definitely, it's interesting. I think I have to take wood even worse than I need plows. Like, I only really need two plows this game, right? I really only need two fields. But I need to fence really soon so I can actually hopefully hit constable. Although, God, plow so gets taken here. Maybe I do have to just plow. Plow and then hope to get both of the two wood actions. I mean, Doe is going to take three wood or plow. Doe is... Doe is yeah, Doe is strong. The others are playing reasonable games, although... Well, Teal, Teal made a huge mistake building this room. Wow, Red's actually taking three wood. Um, Okay. Well, I guess... Yeah, my wood cart is having some problems here, team. My wood cart's gonna have some problems. <laughs> uh, I think I'm broadly with you, Ace of Spade, but yeah. You've played with BK and they're solid? Yeah, BK's playing fine. I don't... I think BK's fine. Um, BK has been doing some pretty reasonable things overall. Um, yeah. Anyhow, I definitely take wood next. 100% take wood. Doe just took clay, which makes the whole pottery thing look less exciting for the record. The pottery looks less good. I mean, Doe is going to build a hearth, but like Teal needs to take clay to Reno. But I might still build the pottery. What am I doing with all this clay? Like, whatever. We'll see. Spamming start for action priority looks correct. I do have good miners. So playing, playing stuff is good. But the thing is, like, I don't super want to help give Doe the second best action either, though. Like, I, I don't know. I, I will eventually start, but I, I'm not sure my miners do enough at the moment to be, like, hugely a concern versus the actions that are on the table like i'm taking i mean clearly i'm taking all the wood actions first wow and two wood is gonna get taken um it's unfortunate that my opponents uh decided to build a dumb wood room instead of fence and we've all decided that yeah i can't i can't even easily get on two wood actions this game despite having a wood cart <laughs> oh it's so unfortunate bk is gonna build a room and two stables yeah. Makes enough sense. Wow, not building the two stables. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know anymore, team. I don't even know anymore. I don't know. It's starting to look like I'm going to start player in defense 14. I don't even know. This uh, pattern maker is not going to turn very well. Clearly, joinery is nonsense because yeah, I can't actually get wood actions. Beanfield does look pretty good, right? I start player Beanfield into Plow So. That's only one bench field, but I guess I could start player again for another Plow So. Maybe. Otherwise, I delay the Beanfield. I try to start player in 13 to open round 14 with Plow So plus So 2 Veg. That's possible. What else do I want to do this round? <laughs> like, not uh, somebody needs to take a cow again. I guess I potentially take the cow just to feed. 
I'm hoping BK takes the dang cow for his eventual constable, but I guess I could just put cow pressure. Well, yeah, the doe's stupid cattle feeder means that there's not as much plow pressure, but... Uh, steam machine for teal looks like another excellent waste of wood. Teal is throwing away all their wood on this room and these improvements. If teal just removed this room, removed these two improvements, they'd have nine more wood and could just fence 13. That looks way better for them. But BK is going to choose to fence again rather than build two stables, which is, I think, largely a mistake. Building two stables is only one point worse but it saves you a whole action and i mean i guess the actions are pretty bad but i agree that bk should hit constable yeah although it's not you gotta take a cow i guess he'll take the cow last action hopefully please take the cow bk i don't really want to have to do it again but i will uh okay what am i doing what am i doing team am i start player in i i'm, I'm definitely renovating I'm renovating. I guess I start player into wood, actually, right? I'm starting into wood. Start player into wood and defense. This has got to be the hope. And then, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to be able to pattern make, which is a bummer, but, like... There's the chimney sweep, which doesn't look like that scary of a chimney sweep. I'm not sure how many people are making it to stone. Oh, actually, I should take three stone. Wait a sec. I should take three stone because with millwright, I can still renovate to stone with three stone. Like, I could, I can reno. Oh, God, nobody's taking the cow again, though. BK, why are you not taking the cow? Oh, I got to take the cow again for my own food needs. But this is actually like, this game's very unfortunate. I want people to take cow and they're not. I want people to not need to take so many goddamn iffy wood actions, but they are. I got to take cow and reno here, I think. Like, I kind of want to take three stone because I want to reno again because I need points, but... My food is, like, really awkward if this doesn't happen. I mean, it helps everybody else's food, too, but... The only upshot is, like... Oh, wow, they bought a cow, so that's part of why there's no cow pressure. The stupid cattle feeder and the cattle buyer have shown up, so that's that's actually part of my issues, but... BK not taking cow is kind of crazy to me. Like, they're really making Constable a lot harder for themselves. I don't think so baking was... I guess their food, BK's food was bad if they didn't so bake. Yeah, BK's food's pretty bad. Doe does the obvious hearth. I'm going to reno to a pottery. The pottery is not going to do me a lot, but I mean, the pottery not doing me a lot is okay still here. You did way better when your second game of G Great Western. That's great. Yeah. All right. Teal does not need food help. Teal's, yeah, Teal's done. Teal's done some, uh, I would argue, dubious stuff. But Doe is just going to take and eat the pigs. Makes sense. If I reno hearth, you don't need another action to reno again. Uh, yeah, that's justifiable, but I think I just get a three stone action next round. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. BK wants to take four stone, I guess. Doe wants to take four stone. No, Doe doesn't need four stone because of chimney sweep. I don't know, whatever. I'm taking wooden defense. Maybe I don't get to reno again, but I have so many things I need to do. If I don't get to reno again, I get more pattern makers. Doe's going to plow stone. No, that makes sense, but... BK is probably going to plow, actually. I don't know. I'm fencing 14 here. I, I got to fence 14 and then just like start player feed pellets is a pretty good sequence for me.
Yes, exactly. Fence eight spaces. Fence fourteen being fence big and fence eight spaces. And then that yeah, I'm just trying to start player for a plow so. Um but I, I got a fence. There's like crazy amounts of fence pressure in this game and hitting No, Teal. I was worried Teal was gonna do this. This is this is absolute misery. Teal is like killing my game with their action selection in the end game here. And it's really frustrating, but it happens. But like Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. I think I just lost. I, I think I had to get fences there. I think fences. I think fencing made me lost lose. Like I'm so screwed now. I, I thought for sure I'd get fence back. That fence four looks awful, but. <sighs> no, there's no hide farmer. Teal's just, Teal's just playing poorly. Like it's, it's just, it's just, it's just whatever, but it happens. Um, This kind of sucks to SP Nada, but I, I think this is SP Nada. Like locking in Plauso or locking in just fencing. It might be I'm locking in fencing here, but like, I think I have to. Doe could SP Nada, and I'd be absolutely, absolutely dead. Yeah, it's too important to be start here, and I don't want to play Milking Place. I think Milking Place is a bad idea, right? Because it, it means that I can't hold my cow. I mean, maybe trying to get Constable is nonsense at this point, but, like, I guess trying to get Constable is nonsense at this point. So I just give up on Constable. Yeah, maybe just giving up constable is okay. Gonzo. So, okay, to be clear, the argument that I have here is maybe teal fencing four is actually correct at this point. Maybe. But it's really frustrating that they're in that position because they really should have been somewhere completely different than where they're at. Like... Teal should have had so much more wood and just been able to fence around 12. Like, I, I don't know. It Teal's taken a lot of iffy wood actions and spent that wood very poorly, and that's really killed my endgame because they've, they've done things that are absolutely awful for their score, but it's really impacted me, I think, more than my opponents. I'm the guy that wants to take a bunch of two wood actions and they keep disappearing because of Teal. And then the round that I'm finally ready to fence, it disappears. Like, these things happen, but... Whatever. I'm taking I am taking stone and I'm gonna open Reno. Although now I don't have a ugh, I don't know. You you agree he's not taking a masterful line. I agree, whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean I agree it's not a masterful line. I I agree, Gonzo, that yeah, fencing four might actually be their best move at the moment. It's just a really bad break for me because like Teal hasn't been taking their best action for most of the game, so why should I expect that they finally do this round? Like, it's it's just very tough, but it, these things happen. I at least get four stone or three stone back. Uh, I don't have a grade in order to reno anymore, so that part's a bummer. Um, although, if, if red renovates here, then I get a grade from patterns. So that'd be cool, but surely red takes four stone, yeah. Red does take four stones. That happened. Um, I can take wood here at least, right? I take wood. Well, oh, BK cannot run offense. BK can't run offense, so that's very helpful. BK not being able to take run offense is huge. I mean, no teal. Oh my god, I'm gonna strangle teal. What? What? What is this two wood? What in the hell is this two wood action? Okay, BK's just renovating this round. That's actually very helpful, too. That's fine. But...
Oh my god, Teal, what are we doing with two wood, buddy? What are we doing with two wood? The two wood action doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I could just take one wood and it's the same thing. And I do need to take this, though. But I just don't understand. I just don't understand. It does matter. Oh, because of Strawberry Patch. Yeah, it totally matters. It totally matters. Oh, yeah. I'm just getting hammered. I mean, I'm probably not playing Strawberry Patch. It cost me a grain food. Oh, because otherwise I could have fenced... Fi yeah, I could have fenced 14 otherwise. I don't know. Whatever it does, it's annoying. Like, I'm getting less wood than I should because Teal's taking two wood for God knows what reason. Like, how is Teal... I guess Teal's going to day labor in a second. Although Teal fenced. How is Teal not take? Like, I don't... I'm, yeah, I'm very frustrated by Teal. Like... Teal's just flailing around, but they're getting in my way a, a lot. But this happens. They're gonna build a stable instead of day laboring. I mean, whatever, whatever. <laughs> this, this, is, these, these things happen. These things happen. Whatever. These games happen. But yeah, this game's very frustrating. Like, I'm just, I've got hammered on the stuff I want to do, but that happens. It happens. Um. Nobody took cow again this round, team. How is it that BK has not taken a cow? I, I guess just because everybody has cow? This is like the worst milk jug ever, though, too. This is crazy. I'm 100% sure there's no hide farmer, Gamermon, too. 100%. Teal is not playing well. Teal is not... Like, there's no grand plan here. Okay. Um, I don't want to spend this grain on mill right, right? So it looks like I'm supposed to take a read action, but not taking my milk jug food is making me very annoyed because it also means that I never, I'm never getting a cow next round. BK is taking a cow first action next round and winning the game off of it, but oh my God, oh, uh, whatever. Not, not every game goes well. Um, yeah, I don't have an extra grain. I think I have to take this in order to save my grain because I'm not getting... Well, maybe I am getting a Reno next round. I don't... I can't guarantee I'm getting a Reno next round. Yeah, whatever. This is fine. Oh, so yeah, that's 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 tricky, Gray. You're right. I could have sewed there. Oh, thank the Lord. Doe takes my cow. Okay, well that's a that's nice. Doe taking the cow is a nice. That that outcome's at least very good for me. Um. Yeah, sewing was sewing was an interesting and tricky option there. That's that's a good call. Although it doesn't really matter so versus what I just did. I don't think it really actually changes much, does it? I don't even know if I need to eat this clay. I'm going to do it anyhow. Yeah, maybe that's being too safe. Actually, I'm not maybe not supposed to, but... Yeah, I'm doing it. Whatever. I can open Plauso. I'm definitely opening Plauso. Sorry. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. Sorry. If that wasn't clear, I'm opening Plauso, which is why I didn't sew there because I'm opening Plauso. But. Uh, please beat the Celtics in four. Uh, Gonzo, that's definitely the hope, right? But I don't. I the Celtics are still a very good team, but I was heavily encouraged by how the Bucks played that first game. Like, I I still think the Celtics are too good for the Bucks to, like, actually sweep them, though, right? Like, we'll see. I'd be pretty surprised if the Bucks sweep them. I think the Bucks are better than the Celtics, but you just hate Boston and everything. That's fair. Uh, but, yeah. Okay.
Yes. Yes. The other thing that made the wood economy tight is Teal taking all the wood always. <laughs> Wait a second. How does Teal have no wood again? Where did all the wood disappear to, Teal? What, did, what? I don't... How does Teal consume so much wood? Oh, the stable. We built the stable. That's right. Yeah, they fenced with all their wood. Then they took two wood so they could build a stable. I mean, you're allowed to be a Boston fan who lives in California. That's perfectly fine. Uh, so interesting question that emerges here, team. Uh, do I fence 14 just so I can reno Strawberry Patch and cause Doe fencing troubles? I mean, Doe maybe could still renovate by taking stone into... S oh, Doe can clay fire reno, actually. Wait a sec. Never mind. Doe can already renovate? Yeah, yeah, wait, shit. Doe can renovate. I need to reno fence. I should just reno fence here. Um... I should just run offense and not get cute about it. Doe can already renovate. And then maybe I can still take the two wood space before Doe renovates. Um, so that I can get Pattern Maker. And that I still could take a wood for uh, Strawberry Patch. So we'll see. I mean, that'd be something at least. Also, is this one of the classic Randy or Catterwalls his way and still somehow wins? BK has three actions left. Uh, Doe is going to take more wood, though. So there goes part of the theory of getting enough. Wait, no, this is still enough wood for my plans, though. This wood turns into two points because of Pattern Maker. It opens up a two-point strawberry patch. Oh, the pigs are three points, though. Uh, I have lots. I have lots of point moves. I guess is the upshot. Um, BK probably still beats me, although. It's not that clear BK has point moves left. I guess sewing. Sewing gives BK a lot of points, actually. Yeah, BK getting so big is annoying. BK is going to beat me, but I, it looks like I probably can eke second over Doe. I guess Doe's still going to fence and renovate. So that's a lot of points coming from Doe. But... BK still has a family growth. Oh, BK does have a family growth. And Teal, of course, takes the pigs because why would why would anything? What, what could be better than just yeah? This milking place turned out really bad. Yeah, it did. It does turn out the milking place was a really bad idea. So, uh, looping way back to the discussion of how much should you listen to chat? Uh, here's a classic example of I was gonna just SP Nada. I got the idea to milking place from chat. I decided it was a good idea. It was not. Less brutal with me not getting the pigs. Oh, because I could have still hit constable. Yeah, if I wheeled the pigs there and then actually could have hit constable by not playing milking place, uh, that would have been something too, but whatever. Uh, yeah, BK clearly wins this game. So I just need to make sure to beat Doe. So how do I beat Doe? Um, I definitely want to take wood before Doe renovates. Uh, right? Wood is a two-point action for me that opens up another two-point action. And Doe can't take the sheep until they fence. So I think I'm supposed to take wood, take sheep, play strawberry patch. Yeah, 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 right? Three wood? Yeah, that has to be right. I, it's not really your bad. I, look, I decided to do it, though, right? I mean, that's, again, that's what I'm arguing. Like, that's what's so hard about streaming is, like, sometimes you get ideas. But, like, I wasn't going to play Milking Place. I got the idea to do it. I evaluated it as good. And then I did it. But I think it was probably wrong. Uh, although, I mean, to be fair, the Milking Place is a lot of food. The milking place has been food. Uh, although it's cost me a grain that cost me an action to reno. I don't know. It's so hard to actually do the math on how bad the milking place turned out to be. But also, to be fair, I never expected to get fence blocked from Teal. So, you know, 
There was that too. There was that whole thing. But I'm still hoping to hit 48. I mean, I don't feel that bad about a 48 game where kind of like most things went wrong in the end game. And I think Teal hurt me a lot more than they hurt anybody else by their nonsense. I mean, to be fair, Teal made the game wood tight for everybody. But I think I was always going to make the game wood tight for Doe. So I don't think that really changed that dynamic. Yeah, I don't know for sure. Teal might take the sheep. Teal taking the sheep is fine. Teal taking the sheep is actually fine. I have feed pellets. So, I mean, I could get blocked on playing Strawberry Patch then. So, I mean, that's a little sad. But, like, getting blocked on the sheep is not that big of a deal. The main reason I want to take the sheep is to block Doe. Uh, possible eating the clay cost me a point. I agree with that, Gray. I was last round. I was talking and debating through that. Right. I was like, should I eat this clay? Oh wait, maybe I shouldn't. But I couldn't quite figure out what the right move was, and I decided to just eat the clay because generally having more food tempo is better. Um, but I agree. It's looking like, it's looking like the four clay action could have been a two point action had I not ate clay, but. Oh well. No, 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 no. I wanna, I wanna take the sheep and then play strawberry patch. That's much better. But wow, we first picked a hide farmer. All right, all right. Montu, I'll take it all back. You were right. I yelled at you. I didn't think it was possible, though. I didn't think it was possible. But apparently it was. So I, w I lied. Montu was correct. They were reading it right. We saved up all this food because we were just going to not. We were just going to not. We, we have the best button in the game. We, we have the best button in the game. You know, a field and a crop and two food. And we, 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 <laughs> we didn't use it. But whatever. I just need to make sure I'm beating dough. I'm not even sure I am beating dough. But I have to hope to at least beat dough here. So taking the sheep has to be part of that. Oh, Doe gets a cow here, though. Duh. Doe gets a cow, anyhow. Uh, I think that's probably a problem for me. Yeah, this is a huge problem, right? Doe still has a renovate. Doe is still winning this game over BK, even. Yeah, God, I'm going to be third. This is... This is ugly. I don't know if I deserve third, but I guess I do. Um... What did I do so wrong? I, well, I played a Storks game, which I'm not always used to, but I don't think that was really the issue. I didn't get my wood card out fast enough. And I just, I just didn't fence early enough. It's as simple as that, though. If I fence earlier, I get animals, and I wind up with, like, I'm missing a, I'm missing a boar and a cow. And I'm missing constable. So, you think not blocking grow was a mistake? Yeah, that also turns out that that's very defensible, too. If I block Grow, I block both BK and Doe from growing faster. And keeping the board a little more open is actually probably good for me because everybody even started taking freaking two wood actions because there was too many actions in the game. If I had gotten to 26 food, yeah. Yeah, there is that. Uh, I did not get to 26 food. Yeah, so a few mistakes I want back, probably. And then, majorly, I just I just want to take more wood and actually get to fence. Teal, Teal doing what they did in the endgame here is just really unfortunate, but...
Yeah, I agree. the The big difference, the big difference too, is that you're exactly right. It turned it like I. Yeah, I I force them I force them all to fight grow and that part is huge because it opens up my actions also. So um So yeah, I I think you're correct. It turns out blocking grow is a big difference at least. Oh, teal 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 easily. Teal would do so much better if they played differently like Teal should have just fenced like Teal should have just fenced eleven much sooner this game. Taken animals, plowed a little more with assistant tiller, and then still played hide farmer and hit constable. Like Teal has such an easy path if they just don't build this room. Like this room is so just so wrong. Like fence eleven. I mean, Teal does hit Constable this way. Like, as soon as they pay for these five spaces, Teal did hit a Constable game in the end, ultimately. So, I mean, they achieved that, but... Red benefited from sitting after Teal? I'm not actually sure Red benefited that much from sitting after Teal. Um, Teal didn't, like, do that many things wrong early. Like... I don't really think Red actually got that much help from Teal. Red just got, like, Red just grew first and had Potter Ceramics. Like, Potter Ceramics Clay Carrier with any bake support is, like, at a grocer. I mean, like, this is dreamy, right? You have You have tons of food and you have a food payoff. Like... Like BK's hand is just very good here. I guess I'll buy a extra veg for the fun of it. But Red had efficiency in cards and open growth cube. Yeah, I, I, I Red just has great cards. Red has great cards, and then they got to take the actions they wanted. I mean. There, Red's definitely a little fortunate that Teal had a tiller and that the rest of us weren't ready to plow because we were fighting other things earlier. So there's definitely some of that too. Like, ugh, 19 for third? 19? Boo. Whatever. Um, but yeah. For teal taking a bunch of two wood, uh, I don't think so. Red really like the things red was the things red was taking was not really that impacted by teal. I mean, the main thing I could argue is that if teal fences earlier, you think Storks wasn't good enough? Oh, I I disagree completely. Storks was definitely fine. Storks was fine this game. The biggest issue is I completely blew open the growth queue and I couldn't like. I wasn't able to actually... I mean, a lot of my problems was I couldn't start player. Again, Doe starting so much early is also actually a lot of my problems. Doe starting with all these miners early, that was annoying. That was a big issue. Like, to be fair, if Doe, Doe nearly was, at the start of round seven, going to build three rooms and let me start player into block grow, that also goes way better for me. That goes so much better for me if Doe does that. So, like, that's part of what my bad breaks were. Like, every time I wanted to actually freaking start player with Woodcart early and get that going faster, I was blocked. Um, I was going last a lot, so that was unfortunate. I thought I was going to get to start player into a bunch of Reed, but that didn't happen because Reed kept getting taken. Um... So, like, th that part of the opening, none of that was good, right? Like, I was, I just couldn't play my cards when I wanted to. But the Ox were definitely good enough to be worth playing. Like, this is, none of this is bad. Constable is good for me, ultimately. Like, Pattern Maker, Constable, Woodcart stuff, like, all of that's great. Storks to be able to grow faster, also great. Uh, but the fact that the rest of the growth queue was so open and that people didn't have to really start or fight for it, that's that hurt me a lot. The fact that Doe got to grow so much and didn't have to start for it, that's that's bad. 
The fact that BK got to just build and grow when he was finally ready, that's bad. Like, I do think Gray is correct that I needed to get in there at least once to gunk it up when I was able to because it messes with everybody's ability to build and grow and then they need to start player or first action grow. And causing them that inefficiency in the growth queue helps a lot. Um, so... Yes, I was able to storks, but the fact that I storks and ultra juiced the growth and allowed other people to grow so much without getting in their way at all, that that was unfortunate. The wood pressure, obviously unfortunate. Like, I had a million actions and I have a wood cart, but I couldn't even spam two wood, one wood very easily because other people were prioritizing that over their food. Like, on some level, BK's excellent food is actually kind of annoying for me too. Like... I mean, it partly helped me because my food turned out pretty good because of it, and I don't know how I feed otherwise. But, like, everybody having such good food also means that they could prioritize taking wood over prioritizing taking wood. Um, BK just getting defense first is huge for them this game. Like, they got huge wood piles, and they were wanting to build rooms out of clay anyhow. Like, whatever. You just can't win them all, so. Millwright is good with storks. Gives me a read. Yeah, I agree. Millwright was totally good with Storks. Um, like, you can't believe BK won that one? Um, I can. Anyhow, dope. Uh, if you're here, um, you were logged into chat the whole time. I don't, I don't actually think you were stream sniping, right? I don't expect that. But it's just weird when we see your name and, like, I can see that you were viewing the whole time. So, in the future, preferably you just don't do that you just close your window that has twitch open and then log in later but yeah uh anyhow is that so valuable to game with brushwood and harpooner uh well to be clear ace of spade the harpooner canoe stuff came super late the harpooner canoe came super late this brushwood collector took three reed out of the early game they opened reedstone food they played this and then they took a two reed action Partly for Hutch, I don't know for what. I, I mean, I was I was very shocked when Doe took two Reed, but it's not like Reed was easy to get early. So I think Millwright giving it a grade is totally very good. Oh yeah, I, I look Schmog. I still agree. I mean, ultimately, I'm at forty eight here. If Teal doesn't fence, if Teal doesn't freaking fence four on me, I get to fence fourteen. So I have one less point. However. I fence an entire round earlier, so I probably get a boar, a cow, and hit constable. So I'm at 55 less my one fence point. I'm at 54. And I don't know that a lot else changes. I mean, I guess a little bit of stuff has to change. Because if I'm fencing, maybe I'm not starting for plow. So I don't know. I probably lose enough other points that maybe I still don't win this one. I, I, again, the other terrible break for me actually is that cattle feeder and cattle buyer came. So I had to keep taking my own cow action a couple of times. Like it, it's stunning to me in a game with this much growth and late cows and a constable game that I think I took three of the cow. Act no, I took two of the cow actions. Doe did take one cow for me eventually. And then BK finally took a cow also. But, like, I expected way more scrambles over cows also, and that didn't happen. Like, admittedly, a lot of things just broke poorly for me, and uh, that happens. Like, again, you can't, you can't win them all. I just... This is a game where, like, I was pretty happy with my hand. I was pretty happy with some of what was going on. It felt like I have a strong game plan, and it's just this one does hurt to lose. Like, I don't really... I don't really know what I did wrong, but again, like I guess sometimes you just don't do things wrong and it just doesn't quite break out for you. Yeah, T Teal taking all those wood actions late is really rough though too. Teal taking all these two wood actions and stuff, like looking at their hand, it makes this this room is just makes no sense. You just you drop this room, you fence ten much sooner. And then you still do, like, your same game, basically. And they no longer take a couple wood actions, and that helps a lot for me, too. The 
the fact that we're all in five room stone houses and teal is in a wood house is also like kind of interesting like the red queue could have got pretty ugly too but there was never actually red pressure so that was wild also but yeah i think you're right gray i think i didn't judge enough of the benefits delayed doe's growth turns out huge i mean i think part of the problem is i mean i i guess i knew red built i don't think i adjusted fast enough to the fact that it red built i was like initially viewing it as i delayed doe by one round and that just didn't seem very valuable but in hindsight it delays doe by potentially more than just a round and even more important than that it delays somebody else by another round. And even better than that, yeah, it forces them all to start spending priority on growing and starting. So that changes... That, that really... That might be enough to change the game, actually, too. That really might just be enough. If I just block grow, it almost certainly costs them... Yeah, you know, at least an action. Actions are two points, roughly. It cost them more than that because they have to prioritize other stuff uh, so yeah yeah i can blame myself on that part too that you know i just i just made the wrong read there the milking place looks like it just cost me a point probably if i just don't milking place i probably well if i don't milking place i have a whole extra action and i still have a cow I don't know if that matters much either, but the draft. That's true. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean it. It that's that part turns out too. If I just first pick brushwood collector, and then I wouldn't have winter caretaker, so I would have had to take veg manually, or I would have seed traded somehow. But if I just first picked brushwood, that also turns out pretty big. But feed pellets caretaker interacts favorably. I see. So you're saying if I had feed pellets down sooner. I'm not totally sure that's true. That's so much food. In the last harvest. Oh, oh, you're saying that you think, I see. You're saying you think milking place cost me more. Interesting. Yeah, Melking Place maybe did cost me more because of what you're saying. I could do that sequence. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, so, okay. Well, there we go, team. We, we have multiple mistakes. Multiple mistakes, so I guess we probably do deserve third. I mean, we could have had the game break better for us, too, and then our mistakes would have been, you know, easier to ignore. But sometimes, sometimes... Sometimes you just get punished like that, Agricola. It's just the way it is. Well, and admittedly, sometimes your opponents just also draft great stuff. I mean, if Doe just didn't freaking have a Carpenter's Parlor in their first pack and instead had a first pick loom or something, like, I would make that trade. But that trade would have been great. The Brushwood Collector might actually make its way back. Eh, the Brushwood Collector's, like, never making its way back, to be fair, but... Ah, okay, whatever. Anyhow. I would need the food action. I do agree that I think... It's not so clear how much Milking Place cost me because I agree the food is different. Like, the food's very different if I'm not eating my cows and stuff. I did have to take an action for the grain. I agree. Like, I did take an action for the grain, but the, it did come with a food also. Like, I don't... It's... It's really hard to do the full what if with this game. Um, because yeah, uh, things obviously turn really different fast, but whatever. Uh, I'm moping around on this one enough. I just need to play another game. I'll get some wins, like whatever. Uh, this is like my first bad game this season and it's not even that bad. It's a 48, like whatever. I, I just, I played it slightly wrong. It happens. It's gonna happen. Uh, thanks all for hanging out and chatting. It's been great. It was a good, good game to really discuss. There was a lot of, there was a lot of really tight, tricky stuff to figure out. Um, no, I took Reedstone food in order to renovate. Yeah, I, I definitely took Reedstone food to renovate. So like, 
I definitely could have done stuff different there too. So, all right. Anyhow, uh, yeah. Thanks all for hanging out, and chatting. Uh, I don't know what I'll next stream, but we'll see. Uh, anyhow, it's been a good time. See you all around later.